ओके स्टूडेंट चलिए सी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ द सी एम ए फाउंडेशन मेनली द फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड ऑल्सो द मैथमेटिक्स एंड स्टेटिस्टिक्स पोर्शन ओके सो बोथ द पेपर इज हैविंग द हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड बोथ आर द एम सी क्यू पैटर्न बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट वॉट वी नीड टू लर्न द वे uh the concept and the framework has been framed up by the cma institute we need to understand the accounts in a very deeper way so that each and every aspect will be covered in a very in a very like easiest way okay and the mathematics is going to be very easy uh if we study hard little bit then it will be easy to score a very good marks in the mathematics even in the uh, accounts also so let's discuss with the topic wise and how the marks will be distributed with respect to the individual topics let's discuss it chale guys सबसे पहले तो 100 मार्क्स का एग्जाम होगा वी हैव टोटल फोर सेक्शंस। सेक्शंस ए इज कवरिंग आउट द फंडामेंटल ऑफ फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग ओके सी इन द फंडामेंटल ऑफ फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग वी हैव टोटल मॉड्यूल्स। ओके फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इज दैट वी हैव अकाउंटिंग फंडामेंटल्स। सो द वेरी फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट वी हैव इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ फोर फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्चुअल लीगल इंस्टीट्यूशनल रेगुलेटरी एंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज सो this is a very basic part okay here we are going to learn the basic things okay so here you can say simply the way of learning is the basic fundamentals okay so this particular first chapter okay accounting principle concept conventions and you can say capital revenue transaction accounting cycle that we already have learned in the class 11 and along with the general book cash book trial valuations adjustment entries rectification depreciation and accounting treatment Of bad debts and provision for bad debts. So this full phrased uh, part will at least constitute 20 plus marks. Okay, from here you can expect at least 20 marks. So from this particular part you can expect a 20 marks sure shot from this particular topic. Okay, 20 marks at least. So this is the first fundamental where you have to learn 10 sub units. Okay, these are actually called sub units part. So in sub units part I am going to tell you which topics are so important in this given case. Okay, if you consider this topic now. the very important topic is that this one topic number 2 is very important okay so this topic number 2 is a very important topic star marking and you can say the capital revenue expenditure is a also very important topic and after this the rectification measures depreciation okay and also your brs so these five topics are going to be very important in terms of the module one so here you can easily cover out at least 20 marks so obviously more than 20 marks you can expect at least but um, as as a fundamental consequence we can uh, considering that a uh, 20 marks will be covered out okay so if you are going to uh, get to the uh, module 2 itself okay in module 2 we have accounting for special transaction so in that particular case if you see it so in the accounting for special transaction you can say that in the accounting for special transaction you have the consignment you have the joint venture and you have the bill of exchange excluding the accommodation uh, bill is solvency okay so this uh, definitely bill of exchange by accommodation bill and insolvency is near there not there but consignment jv okay with respect to this topics are very important if i consider this topic related to the consignment and jv definitely both are very important but consignment it definitely will come from consignment okay questions and also if you considering the other than the joint venture bill of exchange is quite important because bill of exchange is a very fundamental thing that uh, even in the like these particular uh, things are in the also you can say <coughs> uh, law acceptable okay law mein aapko ye bhi milega so this also being important so guys see here if i am going to consider this so um, consignment okay from here you can at least consignment and also from consignment you can at least expect six marks okay Joint venture you can expect two marks and bill of exchange you can expect six marks. So these three is actually having a fifteen marks. Okay, fifteen marks maximum, not more than that. Fourteen to fifteen marks you can consider. So we had six marks from consignment, six marks from bill of exchange, and two uh, marks from joint venture. So you can expect. And as one more thing, uh, that twenty plus marks what I have said na, it actually will be not twenty plus. It is more than twenty. That is you can expect at least twenty five to thirty marks. Please note it down correctly uh, because see the twenty marks I have told you. it's only from the this five chapters okay so all the chapters we have at least so you can consider 25 to 30 marks at least from here it will be very basic part 25 to 30 marks you can easily get okay so you can expect at least 30 marks from here 
and you can expect at least 15 marks for and the bifurcation i have already given okay the bifurcation regarding this i have already given to you okay so now next is the preparation of financial accounts so in that particular case if you considering the preparation of the financial accounts now see guys here in the case of the preparation of financial accounts here you can at least expect a uh, uh, very good marks from here you can at least expect uh, what can you say like at least 20 to 25 marks from here easily okay 20 to 25 marks from here here what the what will the question pattern will be there like in the question you can uh, like uh, have to answer regarding the how the transaction has been recorded in the books of accounts okay like let's say suppose there is a question given closing stock of um, rupees 20000 as on the financial year end so how this closing stock will be recorded in the balance sheet you need to uh, write it on so under the current asset the very first heading that will come is a inventory so current asset ke under mein aapko inventory mein isko plot karna balance sheet mein and also in the trading account in the trade side by closing stock bol ke ye bhi batega so is tarike se you can at least expect okay uh, 15 uh, 25 marks and mainly you can say uh, see it is the sole purpose of business you can say this is basically the sole purpose of business from here you can at least expect 11 marks from here okay so sole purpose of business means aap log sikha the na class 12 mein or 11 mein to prepare the books of accounts balance sheet profit and loss trading account like that so from here you can expect 11 marks of portion and this is the entire portion non trading organization means non profit organization like clubs charitable trust etc they are actually mentoring from here you can expect at least 9 marks from here okay at least 9 to 10 marks you can expect at least okay 9 to 10 marks you can expect directly from here so we can expect at least 9 marks from the this particular topic 9 marks okay from here you can at least expect so from the final accounts you can expect 11 marks and balance sheet of the NT we can expect 9 marks so this is what about the total 20 marks from here okay and see if I go to here now in this particular case uh, so like differences may be happen and but mostly from the question I have seen that 11 marks is being there properly and 9 marks from there but remember guys from here at least you can get 25 marks in a total 20 to 25 marks okay it may be like 24 23 etc but 20 to 25 marks will be there I'm not sure I'm not uh, telling you the sure that you are going to get 25 marks directly but rather 20 to 25 marks uh, you are going to get that is why i am going to give you the 20 marks scenario based on this okay now come to the last topic here see yes this is the very interesting see uh, it is the basic and very fundamental question regarding the cost it's basically a cost approach where you are going to learn in detail in the ca intermediate sorry cma intermediate level here you are going to learn what is the cost? What will be the cost accounting for business decision? What will be the definition of cost, cost center, cost unit, cost number, etc. So, a very basic fundamental you are going to cover. You are going to get from very basic part. From here, you can expect 30 plus marks. And from the very beginning of the two chapter, you can at least get 12 to 15 marks. Okay, 12 marks. From very beginning, this two chapter. And if you are going to consider this two chapter very thoroughly, you are going to get the 12 marks at least. And the very last chapter that is a preparation and presentation of the cost sheets. Okay. From here, the basic very parts are there. Here you can expect at least six to seven marks. Okay. So out of the uh, like 30 marks, these three chapters at least considering the 20 to uh, 21 marks from there. Okay. And other than this, like uh, classification and cost and cost level, from here you can expect the 10 marks. So the syllabus as a whole, if I'm going to consider the syllabus thoroughly. Uh, the main portion is that you need to focus morely, uh, most actually and more more importantly on you can say fundamental part from here you can get 30 marks and if you are considering this 30 marks are very important and you can consider the module 3 module 2 is module 3 marks so module 1 and module 3 you can going to get up or at least 50 marks from there so if you are considering the solid 50 marks from here you can uh, easily get down the 40, 40, 45 marks from here and after then you have the cost part so here if you considering yourself to be better and the way i am going to uh, teach you if you considering best, best to be on that so 20 25 marks is sure from there okay so you can easily get 70 marks from here easily if you are not going to consider the module 2 itself and from module 2 if i am going to tell you from module 2 so module 2 may if you are going to just go through only the consignment part and the little bit of bill of action so from here you can at least expect 10 marks so here you can going to get the 80 marks easily 
सो द प्लान इज टू दैट कि सर इन द वेरी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल वन ओके इन द वेरी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल वन वॉट वी नीड टू टारगेट सी द टारगेट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर एस ओके सो फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ मॉड्यूल ओके इफ यू कंसिडरिंग फ्रॉम वेरी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल यू कैन एटलीस्ट एक्सपेक्ट जस्ट अ वेट गाइज सो फ्रॉम वेरी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एटलीस्ट आई हेयर ट्वेंटी फोर मार्क्स ओके सो फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल टू यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ टेन मार्क्स आउट ऑफ फिफ्टीन फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल थ्री यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ ट्वेंटी मार्क्स ओके जस्ट अ मिनिट देर इज सम इश्यू इन द राइटिंग and for module 4 you can expect a 20 at least 4 marks so if i am add all this so what will be your uh, total marks you are getting if you are uh, like a uh, very very rare to rare case that i am considering okay i am not considering at a full i am going to consider the a part so 24 10 34 uh, it's a 54 and 24 it means 78 c and now i am going to this uh, deduct 8 marks again so you are going to get You are going to get seventy, correct? So see, very easily you can score seventy marks from here. So if you plan accordingly and make use of that from uh, like today itself, so you can easily get seventy marks from the uh, like uh, all the chapters you are going to go through. Okay, so seventy pass is very easy. So this we can easily score consider that seventy pass can be very easy. Okay, चलिए ये तो हो गया accounts का part. Now we are going to discuss little bit about the maths का part. ठीक है? अभी हम लोग maths का part थोड़ा discussion कर लेते हैं. What will be about the maths ka part? So you can consider in the maths actually. See in the maths you can say more or less they are mainly dependent on the part of the. Ah, uh, you can say the mathematics portion is little bit of like ah uh, interesting part. Okay, in the statistics part where we have correlation regression, where we have times uh, little bit of time series. Okay, where we have the statistical data, where we have the arithmetic mean. Where you have the standard tendencies and mean, median, mode, and standard um, deviation, etc. So from here, a uh, lot of marks will be there. And other than this, some part of the logical reasoning also there, which you need to learn also separately. But believe me, uh, don't go for any other books. Okay, I am going to suggest you one two books for the like scanner part. If you are going to purchase it from the Amazon itself, it will be very helpful for you. And I also suggest you to purchase it from the Amazon or maybe Flipkart. I'm going to name the uh, books uh, to you directly. No, no matter at all. So you just purchase it and try to practice from there. Along with the institute man, don't ever, never, ever uh, do the mistake of not doing the institute man. If you do the institute man, complete it, and then you are going to start the practicing from there. You can believe me, you can easily pass it out very easily. Just the matter of the discussion is that. You have to follow and you have to maintain the consistency to score a good marks. Okay. <clears throat> so in the maths part, just a little bit to wait one two minute. Uh, it will open and I'm going to show you uh, how to score a very good marks in the maths also. Because maths me kya hota na maths me students are getting very panic. But see the syllabus are very easy in that case. Okay. And also the topics are very very good going topic. So you are not going to face any difficulty at all in this particular topics. If you once do it, it will be very easy for you to catch this one. Okay. Stats say uh, you have to try to get more marks in from the stats because some uh, from the maths maybe. Little bit tricky, but if you good score good in the stats part, it will cover your maths marks also. Okay, like uh, six seven extra marks in the stat will cover up the lack in the maths also. Okay, that's the what the fundamental at all. So this was their maths part. Okay. So you can see here uh, the bifurcation. I'm going to tell you the bifurcation is given here actually. Okay. If you consider in the bifurcation in that part, so here you can see the arithmetic portion is covering 15 marks. Okay, ah, uh, the very basic part is the fundamental of the business mathematics. So mathematics covers 40 marks. Okay, and your stats part is covering actually your 60 marks. So this is how that will happen. So see, 
In case of the mathematics, we have three sections: arithmetic, algebra, calculus. And in the stats, we have the five sections. Mostly, our main important sections are probability, index number, time series, correlation, regression, and transcendent analysis. So from here, you can easily score at least fifty-five marks from there. Okay. So now let's discuss the syllabus here. Clear cut. Okay. How it will come actually, and how will be the uh, marks distribution from the each topic itself. So see, guys. I think so. It is visible to you clearly now. From the very first part, that is the fundamental part. You are going to consider this ratio part. Okay. So ratio variation proportion, time value of money, arithmetic progression, geometry progression, APGP, and the time and distance. So from here, ratio variation proportion. You can guess. Uh, I'll give five marks from here. Okay. So time value of money, you can considering two marks. Arithmetic progression and geometry mean you can considering two marks and time and distance you can considering like let's say what can I say like um, three to four marks here at least okay three to four marks so five three eight and uh, two to four so from here you can at least get a fifteen marks so if you consider the last details also here it is fifteen marks correct so from the very first part of the fundamental of the arithmetic part you are getting fifteen marks so here fifteen marks will be automatically covered but see रेशियो का पार्ट से ना क्या होता है रेशियो पार्ट से कभी कभी फाइव भी आ जाता है कभी कभर यू कैन गेट लाइक सिक्स सेवन मार्क्स आल्सो ओके सो कंसीडरिंग द फाइव टू सेवन मार्क्स कम्स अंडर रेशियो वेरिएशन प्रोपोर्शन एंड टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी टू मार्क्स एरिथमेटिक प्रोपोर्शन जीवन प्रोपोर्शन टू टू थ्री मार्क्स यू कैन एलिस्ट एक्सपेक्ट एंड हेयर थ्री मार्क्स सो ऑलमोस्ट इट विल बी फिफ्टीन मार्क्स फ्रॉम हेयर सी एन एलजेब्रा एलजेब्रा इज वेरी वेरी सुपर इन एलजेब्रा यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वेरी इजिली इंडिस एंड लॉगर इदम ओके सेट थ्यूर इज ऑल्सो देयर Indices, logarithm, and also permutation, combination, and some part of the quadratic. So these four are very easy. These four are very easy, and you can score at least out of these. So if we considering this, na, you can easily score a good mark. So here algebra is covering at least twenty marks. See here the weightage of that part. You have to focus on that weightage is very high. So see from here you can get easily set theory. Me, kidna hai? Aapko four marks. Indices here you are going to get here five marks. Okay, permutation, combination five marks. And here you going to get a four marks. So set theory me a four to six pagal lijiye yahan pe. Thoda jada weightage rehta hai. But indices and permutation combinations five five aayega. So yahan par you are going to get twenty marks easily. ठीक है? So calculation me five marks se. Okay. So don't worry about this. If you going to left it out, it's not a matter of a problem. But see, I am going to tell you we have to do it. Okay. Some part of the calculus we need to do it. Okay. It's a little, it's a very little bit difficult part for the students. But don't worry. Don't Like make it anything else. We are going to do it. You can find it very easy. Okay. So concept of calculus and application in business is easy. Revenue something cost function optimization uh, techniques also being there. So from here you can expect five to six month maximum. So it's a like a little bit a very small part we need to cover. But see important also being given to that part. Now from here what we are going to expect arithmetic me if you are going to consider list. See from here you can at least consider twelve marks. From here you can consider just fifteen marks. From here you can consider two marks. So out of the forty marks we are going to cover up twenty nine marks. Correct. So from part of the mathematics you can easily score twenty nine out of forty. So I am going to deduct four marks again. So you are going to get twenty five marks easily in that particular part. Now I am going to come to the next part. There is stats part. Okay. In the stat part, the very much important is that statistical representation data. Here you are going to learn how to present the data. Okay, what is the frequency distribution? What is the graphical representation of the frequency distribution? Histogram, frequency, polygon, curve, object, pie chart, etc. So these are the very basic, basic part that we need to learn. Okay, these are very basic part. Diagrammatic, uh, diagrammatic representation of data, frequency distribution, graphical representation of frequency distribution, like that. So these are very basic part which we need to learn. From here, you can expect at least five marks. Okay, not five, five to six marks maximum. Here. So five to six marks maximum. So six you can consider from here actually. Okay. So the like frequencies of your three to four marks will come here. Here three marks will come here. Here one mark. Here one mark. Not so important this part like a diagrammatic, diagrammatic part, graphical part. Frequency distribution is very easy. And here we are going to convert only. Uh, you can say for uh, three to four marks. Okay. Now next is that we have most important chapters are there. I am going to start from module eight. Okay. Here you can expect at least a ten marks. Index number से आपको मिल जाएगा six marks. 
and time series you are going to get four marks. So these are two constituted are ten marks. Okay, index number you are going to get six marks from the time series you are going to get four marks. Probability it's a very important topic. Probability part concept and and the primary application. Okay, these are also being very easy and from here you can at least get up fifteen marks from there actually. Fifteen marks. Okay, and from concept and analogy you are going to get. You can consider it as a uh, six to seven marks from here. You are going to learn the concept part, and in primary application you can get a nine marks, eight to nine marks question from here. Some will be there. You have to answer it. Okay. In correlation regression, the most important topic is that Carl Pearson. Okay. So from here you can at least expect nine marks, and scatter me. You will get two marks. Meaning that regression you are going to get six marks. So this was also covering as a fifteen uh, marks, fifteen to seventeen. You can at least say. Okay, and the most important topic is that mean, median, mode. Here you are going to get 15 marks again, 15, 16 marks. But I am telling you, I am not segregating the marks here. Every part is very important. Every part. If you considering this part is very important. If you considering this part is very important. If you considering this part is very important. So from these three part, one, three, and five, you can get at least a 12 marks easily. Other than this range quartile and other than the coefficient of variation. Because CV me kya hota na CV we are going through some formulas. So other than this, these two is considering the lot of marks from here. Okay, so this is going to be very important. So that is what the syllabus you have. So now if I am going to considering the marks distribution here, so how to uh, uh, get the marks distribution here very easily? See here, if I am going to consider from the module five, so module five se agar me fifteen se marks me calculate kaise kar lete ho apka ten marks. So if I considering ten, not ten, ten bhi aur kam ho jayega. Okay, this is the very easy uh, like chapters are there. So if I am considering at least twelve marks from there, okay. So twelve marks from here, and correlation regression I am going to consider twelve marks from here also, and probability se mein consider karta hoon apka almost ten marks, and from number ye bahut easy hai chapter ten marks se yahan pe eight mein considering karta hoon. So you are going to get twelve and twelve is twenty four, eight thirty two and forty two. So from easily forty two plus twenty nine. So see the marks you are getting seventy one very easily. Seventy one very easily correct. So see how the marks will be uh, varied. Okay, you are planning to get eighty. Then you are going to get sixty five, seventy. Even even you can also score eighty. See, I am not considering full marks here. Okay, I am not considering the full marks. If someone is very good in the correlation regression, mean mean number, they can easily get fifteen out of fifteen. So from there you can easily uh, carry more six mark here. So that is how the strategy you need to follow. So I am going to suggest you one thing that um, focus on the stats part very well. Okay, and uh, we are going to learn the way that we need to learn, and all the uh, like a uh, video classes we need to do properly. And please try to do the sums from the institute mat first. Solve the lot of question given in your mat. Solve all the question from the institute mat. Okay, solve all CMA mat ka question jo bhi hai, and then we need to follow the scanner. And scanner ka name I am going to tell you. Scanner ka name is Suchita Prakashani. Okay, Suchita Prakashani. That is the name of the scanner. You can search in a Flipkart or Amazon. Suchi the person is CMA Foundation Accounts and Math. Okay, scanner. So you are going to get the scanner very easily from the site. Okay, there is a scanner. You need to just purchase, but make sure that before purchasing it, you need to complete all the CMA Institute Math uh, question first. Then you are going to get down practice from there. So before one month of exam, you need to practice from there. But right now, I am going to suggest you to practice the Institute Math only. For your purpose, okay. So that is how the syllabus has been going to frame, and that is what your syllabus. So I think so you understand, and you you are going to plan it accordingly for your exam, and hope so. So thank you very much for uh, understanding this. Thanks a lot. We'll meet in the class. Thanks a lot. Bye.